my inspiration towards writing East of the Sun was um, years ago when I first met my husband. He told me about his mother. In fact, it was on our first date. And um, at first I thought it was quite an amusing story because he told me about this woman who at 18 years old had been shipped off to India as part of um, the fishing fleet. And he explained to me that the fishing fleet, these women, they were young women who having failed to find a husband during the London season, were shipped off to India, hopefully to find a husband there. And it was an incredibly brutal system in some ways. As part of the fishing fleet, you took your innocent daughters, you shipped them off on their own 5,000 plus miles away and mostly you didn't know who they were marrying. In some ways it was exciting, there was a, superficially there was a mass of parties, polo matches, race meetings um, and these women often had the time of their lives on the surface. Um, they had lots of servants but they were very very isolated to be, to be fair, there were probably some women who were absolute monsters and snobbish and insular. For me, writing, I'm a huge lover of traveling, so it's always an excuse to go somewhere exciting and interesting and learn about it. Um, so I actually went three times to India to write this book. I uh, took the little train I described in the book. I started off at New Delhi about five o'clock in the morning and we took this wonderful little noddy train which is on a single gauge railway and we went through the foothills of the Himalayas. <laughs>